In this video, I'll be teaching you about the page rank computation in the big data. So let's get started. There are a few steps in this uh, problem to compute the page rank. That is, this comes in the link analysis topic in the big data. So to get started, now uh, we have a concept that there is a surfer. That is, a person uh, will be standing at a place and he has got two different ways. That is, the person is standing at position number one and uh, there are five different positions and then he can uh, traverse in two positions at one time means at uh, once he can travel only along one path that is uh, if he is, he is at position number one then he can move to position number three or four but uh, he cannot move to position numbers uh, two or five so likewise we have a concept so first for that we will take that a random surfer is there so he begins at 1, means currently he is at standing at position number 1 and he has got two hyperlinks. Now this you can uh, memorize it as in terms of the page rank, that is in the uh, terms of boards uh, in the web search engines how this works. Like you have two hyperlinks and uh, there are two ways that he can proceed, that is either with 3 or 5 he proceeds in any one of this at a time with a probability of half that is there are two probabilities that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 probability of traversing in one direction now uh, to represent this we create a transition matrix that is m and instead of filling this transition matrix we will fill it with the probability value that the uh, surfer can traverse along with so we create a transition matrix m of uh, n rows and n columns here I have represented it as M5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positions are there. So it represents 5 and we have got these many uh, rows and columns. So one property of this uh, transition matrix is that all the columns here it should be counting as 1. That is half plus half is 1. Then here only one second column. Third column is also 1. This 1 by 3, 1 by 3 it comes out to be 1 and this comes out to be 1. So it's just a random matrix based upon the uh, page rank, means how the surfer will traverse. It's just an estimate analysis, there is uh, no such proper uh, logic in this to design this. It's just a random map we have given to the uh, surfer while traversing. Next, in order to determine the position of the surfer, where he is actually at this current time, where the uh, surfer is actually in the map. So to track that or to monitor that, we'll create a column vector that is v which is having a size of n and we will uh, make a component that is j component of this vector v to identify the location actual location of the surfer uh, at the place next uh, we uh, initially assign uh, the surfer any uh, probability that is uh, 1 by n means in general he can take any probability uh, like 1 by n, n can be of any size uh, which is the vector which we are defining. Next uh, this Markovian uh, matrix or the M matrix that is transition matrix has got two properties that is sum of the entries at any column should be equal to 1 and all entries of this column should be greater than 0. So if these two properties are satisfied by any of the matrix then that matrix is called as an MCP which is called as a Markovian chain process or Markovian chain matrix or MCM. Next, uh, we design the vector B in such a way that it shows the probability distribution function at each interval where the actual surfer is. And we locate the current position of this vector and we use M as a distribution vector of the next state and we compute it as X is equal to M into Vj. That is M is the transition matrix and V is a location that is the vector matrix and J is a position where the actual surfer is. Then we compute the first iteration, second iteration, third iteration and likewise so we have M V0, M into M V0 that is M square V0, then M cube V0, M raised to 4 V0, likewise we have M K V0 for the uh, kth value, like the number of iterations uh, we assign for k, if k is 11 then m raised to 11 into uh, m v 0 it will be like that so likewise we have uh, any number of iterations until we reach a threshold value 
Next, one property of this uh, MCV is that uh, there should be no dead ends should be present in this. Like dead ends are basically a trap. We call it as spider trap in case of link analysis. So uh, dead end basically is that a trap sending to the bot that it cannot move in any direction. Means it is trapped in that state and it will uh, not move to any other state or it will not come out to the uh, gut structure. So, and at least one link should be present, If at least uh, not more than two or three, but at least one link should be present, uh, then that will be free of the uh, dead ends. Next, uh, the above property of this that we computed, this will lead to an eigenvector, that is eigenvector is a basic principle in the mathematics which we use for computation of the values, we uh, use for the iterations uh, which we get from this. So we can set this MCP that is Markovian chain process as V directly proportional to M into V that is the big vector that is the Eigen vector is proportional to the MCP uh, the matrix M and the vector V that is the column vector which we give for identifying the location and since this is directly proportional we can have V is equal to beta into M V that is we remove this alpha and assign a constant value that is beta. So next after we compute this for every iteration, iteration 1, iteration 2, iteration 3, likewise uh, when we reach the 11th iteration or the 12th iteration, then we can see their differences between the 10th uh, iteration or the 11th iteration. At some point of time they become stable and at that time we can actually get the uh, rank of this that whether it is a third rank, second rank or first rank of the matrix. So that's uh, the final step and the value of xk which we design for the k value or the k uh, which we keep it for iterating uh, whether it is 12 or 11 likewise it will go on calculating the differences between the page rank until a particular threshold is hold. So this is the page rank computation in detail. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this.